Hey guys, today we're back with another Versus review. And today we have the P938 SIG versus the Car CM9. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back. All right, today uh, I thought I would uh, get together my P938 and my car CM9 and compare them, make a little uh, versus video. Uh, my other versus videos have been doing pretty well, so I thought I would uh, continue with the next uh, edition. Um, these are two of the more popular concealed carry pistols on the market right now. You have the SIG P938 that holds uh, seven rounds in uh, this mag, and you have the CM9, which holds seven rounds in this mag. Uh, this gun also comes with a flush six round mag, and this gun also comes with a uh, somewhat flush six round mag. Uh, it's flush, but it's still got a pinky extension on it. Uh, get back to the guns. Uh, this gun is a decent bit heavier than this one. I think two ounces. Uh, so it, whenever it comes to carryability, you could tell the difference in actually which one will be heavier. Uh, shootability, the uh, triggers are, uh, this is a striker fired, which is striker fired pistol. Uh, that's what you would normally call one like this. It's a little bit different, I'll get to that here in a minute. And this is a, uh, a hammer pistol hammer uh you know whatever but uh the way that these guns are made is a lot different because one you've got a 1911 style uh pistol with a uh single action trigger that is barely anything with this one you've got a long double action fill pull but the interesting thing about this is that if any of y'all out there have, a, say, a Smith & Wesson or Colt revolver, this right here feels like the double action on one of them. Smooth all the way through until the end. Uh, the poundage doesn't increase on the way up. Uh, it's, uh, it's really interesting because a lot of people, they don't really consider triggers on uh, concealed carry pieces. They just consider weight, how many it'll hold, uh, what brand it is, whenever... Uh, the trigger, uh, the actual trigger job, trigger poundage, whatever you want to call it, could possibly well be one of the most important things on the concealed carry piece. Uh, where they're so small that if you if you are pulling to the left or to the right, if you get any bit out further than 15 yards, it could uh, mess up your shot or it could um, it could throw your shot off feet. I mean, it's it's that serious. So you need to make sure that you have a good trigger. For the for the actual for your gun that you're going to be carrying, and uh, that getting back to the car, it's something that's really interesting because I've never felt another trigger like this in my life. Um, all the way through, it's a very smooth, like it feels like I said, a double action revolver. I've never felt another pistol like this, honestly, in my life when it comes to the trigger. But uh, something else comparing them, uh, the P938 comes with uh, night sights from the factory while the car is just a one dot in front and a one line in the, in the back end of it. Uh, like I said, it's considered a striker fired pistol, so it wouldn't really be uh, considered anything else but that. So it's, this one will be more of a versus between the G28, or G, G42, G43 Glock or the uh, Shield uh, Smith & Wesson. Whenever this one here is more of like in a uh, class of its own where it's a uh, single action trigger. But uh, all together, both of these are really good pistols. If I had to pick one to carry, I would just, I picked the 938 just because I'm uh, pretty used to it. But if I didn't have the 938 and I started out with a car, uh, being straight up honest, I would, I would 100% uh, recommend this going. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, wouldn't be too, uh, bad to not carrying it myself because uh it, it's it's really interesting I, i'll have a shooting i should have a shoot a uh, shooting video up of it already but uh it's uh it's it's interesting i i really do enjoy this pistol i uh, enjoy it a lot more than i thought it would than i thought i would to be honest with you but uh all together uh that will be about the end of the video just uh, some real quick things whenever it comes to uh, thickness. Both of these are single stack nine millimeters. Uh, the car is a little bit more blockier than the 938. The uh, 
the barrels are off both three inches long, so you ain't gonna have any difference with that. Sight radius, uh, you've got about around a quarter inch longer with sight radius with the car, so you might be able to get a little bit better shot on it. But um, all together, these are two killer guns. So if y'all have any questions, uh, leave them in the space below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I will see you all in the next video. Ho, 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 ho.